Hello friends, this is Samuel once again from Sony Tech. Uh, welcome to the part 3 of our React Native Expo Firebase series. Okay, so in this one, I'll be walking you through how to add data to our Firestore database using Expo. And of course, using the latest version of Firebase, which is version 10. And we'll be using TypeScript for this tutorial. Okay, so if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Please like this video, please share and comment as well. Alright, so welcome back. Okay, so from our previous video or previous tutorial, we just had two fields i think or three yeah so i added the full number field and uh, this is it here so they use this so checking the type with that number of string um let's see so you can find the source code in the description down below okay so great okay so now let's head over to our browser and let's start something Okay, so I'm going to go over and head to the firebase documentation but before we do that um, open Firebase, so go to console and click on build. So the last time we enabled authentication. So this time we'll be enabling the Firestore database. Okay, so great. Let's give this some time. Okay. So once you click on that, um, yeah, you are brought to this piece. So click on create database. Okay. So I'm going to continue in production. I'm going to choose, so I choose the first one and now click on enable. Okay, so let's give this some time. Okay, so this is done. So this is what you see once you're done with that. So this is the rule set. So you can modify the rules um, if you know what you're supposed to do here. Okay, so great. Um, now let's head over. To All right. So now in the Firebase documentation, um, search for our documents from the search bar. Okay. So you then be brought to this piece. I'm going to copy um, this line here. So I'm teaching you how to use the documentation to learn. Okay. So great. So I created this entire tutorial using the documentation. So I'm going to import um, this little guy here. Um, okay. So what's next? okay so once i've imported that i'm going to grab this piece of code so copy oh not this so i copy that and let's go into our sign up function i'm going to do a little bit of modification here so let me comment this out so we have this okay i want to paste this code here and let's get rid of this await we have an await at the top okay so Okay, so this is saying that um, we need to import set doc. Don't forget to import set doc and doc. So that's what we did here. Okay, so from the documentation, this is going to be the collection. So you see in our database, we have. So this is the collection, and this is going to be the document, and the data is going to be here. Okay, so now we can name this as users and. It takes two parameters so three parameters so now since we have the user um variable so we can do user so user and dot what can we do if you do user dot we can do uid so that we get unique ids okay so great and um let's do some little mod modification here all right, so I've done some modification here. So um, I had to pause the video to do this for okay, to save time. So name and I set it to username so that this becomes dynamic. Because from Firebase, what we got was a static data. Okay, so um, so phone number and so with the dates. So now let's do dot to um, UTC string. Okay, I think this is great. Okay, so great. So once we are done with this, um, um, we can do dot then, then, and uh, let's just alert something. Let me grab this alert here. Copy. Let me paste this here. So, um, let me just do data uploaded. Uploaded successfully. Okay, so great. Um, I think everything is wired up correctly. Okay. So now let's try. So what do we call this? Uh, John. And let's do John. John at 
gmail.com and you just enter a phone number so anything and the password you need to do one two three four five six okay so now let's try creating an account okay okay so great so now let's check our database let's refresh okay so nothing shows why it's nothing not showing okay so you see it's missing or insufficient permissions okay so now as i said if you know how to modify the rules you can work here okay so now let's do some little tweaks in our um, rule set all right so what i did here is you see it was allow read write um colon if request if false so i just change the false if request the time is less than this date so you can set this to anything okay so you're just seeing that this happens because we're doing this in production if it was to be in test you're not going to encounter this so now let's proceed and publish this and head back to data and give this um, a try so let's log out so let's okay so let's try and sign in but before i sign in i've made some little tweaks to my code here okay so i changed this to created at and also i brought the dots then block down i realized that was a mistake okay so now let's try and sign up again so let's call this um peter peterson okay so peterson and uh, peter sin is that right um peter sin at gmail let's go okay and the let's just add some random number and the password okay so one to six okay, so now let's try and create an account and see okay account successfully created and um, let's check our firebase database and let's refresh okay so remember that in the rule sets be careful to format your rule very well don't miss it or add any white space or you have issues with this one and boom so our data is here okay so you can we can log out and try another one too as well okay so you can try that on your own and let me know in the comment section if you work okay so thanks so much for watching this video um don't forget to give this video a like please comment share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one where i walk you through how to fetch data from the firestore database